Welcome back everyone. And nandito tayo ngayon sa Sublime Text 3 or sublimetext.com slash 3 which is the website of uh, Sublime Text para i-download and mamaya gagamitin naman natin yung mismong uh, IDE na ito. No? And nakita natin doon sa last lecture na ang sabi natin is we're going to use Sublime Text. Now, why Sublime Text? Kasi kapag nag-aaral ka as a beginner, mas gusto mo nakafocus ka doon sa paggamit ng programming language and not really much on the IDE. Tama? Para makapag-focus tayo kung para saan ba talaga yung Python. And yung sublime text, ang kagandahan nito, yung interface niya ay napakasimple. Okay? Ibig sabihin, you don't have to worry about any other information other than, of course, yung, yung inaaral natin na programming language. Kasi pag ang ginamit mo kaagad ay yung PyCharm, for example, napakaraming information ang kailangan mong bunuin doon bago mo magamit yung uh, Python. Ibig sabihin, eh, nag-aaral ka ng dalawa kaagad, no? yung IDE mo at saka yung programming language. But by using Sublime Text 3, we can focus more on the Python itself. All right? Now, you go to this website, sublimetext.com slash 3, and sabi niya, this is the download uh, page, obviously, and Sublime Text 3 is the current version of Sublime Text. Okay? For bleeding edge rele releases, see the dev builds. So, wag muna natin itong pansinin. Dito lang muna tayo. And this is the uh, latest build. Okay? The version build 32.11. Okay? So, you can use this on Mac. You can also use this on Windows and also on Linux. Right? Pero, of course, I know that most of you are using Windows. So, gagamit tayo ng Windows. You can use the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Uh, anyway, kahit anong piliin mo dyan, 32 or 64, walang problema. I will be using the 64-bit. So, I will click on this. And may kita nyo doon sa baba na mabilis lang siyang na-download. No? Kasi yung file naman nito ay maliit lang din. Okay? So, ikiklik natin ito to install. Okay? And then, ang mangyayari, nandito na tayo ngayon sa installation. And we simply click next. Okay? And by the way, we will leave it as a default. No? So, since ito ay naka-check, sabi niya, add to explore content menu. We'll leave it as that and we simply click next okay so click natin yung next and we click install all right and sandali lang yan okay na siya and now our installation is finished okay so ganun lang kabilis mag-install ng sublime text 3 and then paano ko sir makikita yung sublime text 3 you go to your search box again and uh, type natin sublime text 3. Okay, so ito na yun. Sublime text 3. Click natin yan and you are now on the Sublime text 3 na IDE. Okay? Now, kung mapapansin nyo, nakalagay dito is unregistered and from time to time merong magpa-pop up dyan na encouraging you to purchase. Pero kahit naman gaano ka katagal gumamit nung trial na ito, no? wala naman problema but of course, uh, mas maganda kung magpa-purchase ka ayon kay Sublime Text 3 because you know, this is a business na no? eh, kailangan din nilang mabuhay. Pero kung halimbawa, you are on trial katulad nito, this is unregistered and this is trial, don't worry because this is not a uh, an illegal copy. Okay? So don't worry about it. And then on the next video, ang gagawin natin is we're going to try to code on our IDE, our first code for Python using Sublime Text 3. Okay, so I'll see you there.